Musso against McMillan. All right, I told you I was going to win. All right. Couldn't help it. I'm so looking forward to getting rid of this case because once I'm able to get rid of this case, I can watch your new rap. <laughs> it's going to happen today. We will end it today. No, don't you, don't you have a new rap song or something like that? Yes, I do. I'm running for mayor of the city of New York. The rent is too damn high. Yeah. Is that the new rap? That's the new rap. Is it on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Okay, well, see, I can't go there. But I, I mean, I know about stuff like that. Didn't you run for mayor last time? Yes, I did. We didn't do too well, but this time we expect to win. Ah, do politicians <laughs> always talk in the we? <laughs> we. As in we? we? They don't talk in the I? No, no I. <laughs> I see. We didn't do so well last time. Golly, yeah. do well it Running for governor, we did extremely well. We did? Yes. Ah, you, who did you run against? Andrew Cuomo Palladino. Uh, we all participated in the debate together, the gubernatorial debate. You got a percentage of the vote? Yes, I did. How? What percent? Oh, uh, we've been maybe two percent. We got about 40,000 votes. We need 50,000 to officially come. But this time, we're going to win this. You week. got 40,000 votes for governor. <laughs> well, bless your heart. Isn't that something? Well, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. How many witnesses do you have? Judge, we're on for motion. Oh, rats. We are? Yes. Yeah, you had to put the trial vote. I did? You said you, you oh. Latin phrases that came into the saying, if I can open, I appreciate that. So. There's a motion. There was a motion yes. that was done in the brief. There was actually, Judge, at the last, at the, prior to the last court appearance when Mr. Are you sure I didn't deal with the motions before? No. You had specifically said you were not dealing with them until May 9th. And, and I had suggested that you adjourn the motion prior to the trial date. You said, no, I'm going to put the motion on to the trial, to put the trial off. Bless my soul. That means I really did something not too bright. All right. You said you wanted to really think about this. Yeah, I gave it a lot of thought. I sure did. Um. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I, can Hold on. Let me think about Can I start this off? Don't remember. I can't remember. I'm just curious. Let me start it off. Uh, no, don't, don't. Is there something in particular that, um, that I can't remember? Yeah, the whole. No, you don't get to start off nothing. Okay. This is a motion to strike the answer for failure to pay eighteen thousand dollars in use and occupancy pursuant to Thank you. your order as well as your order. Right. Stipulation is order. Um David, when you oh you're just doing uh, uh, put him up for me, I'll deal with him. Thank you. I just need a, I, I remember now. It's the, did you pay, did you not pay, blah, 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 blah. Now, before we had the, the last court appearance with Mr. McNeil, no um, uh, This is a fairly simple numbers case. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I need you more, I can, on this one. Mr. McMillan, the rent's too high. I know who Mr. McMillan is. Okay. Um, He's made a motion to strike the answer, claiming that, that he didn't pay the $18,000 in rent that he says is owed by him. If true, answer stricken. If not true, answer not stricken. And so the really easy point about that is he's either got the $18,000 in court or he can show proof that the $18,000 has been paid. I can't, I don't have the time to listen to, to the pearly words coming from the practitioners because um, the only thing I really care about is if the, if the money was paid. Don't really care about anything else. Only if the money was paid, period. And you know what the wonderful thing is? Numbers, 
calculator. Mr. McMillan, so yes. we're clear. Thank you. Numbers only. You Thank can you. give him all your total words. Thank you. Thank you, David. I'm sorry, but now you understand it's going to take about half an hour, and I don't have that half hour. It's math. I know it's math. But it's going to take you half an hour. Gentlemen, please. Mr. Shulman, Mr. McMillan. For sure, four, pay, four check, four, four months were Thank paid. There is a claim by Mr. McMillan that the remaining amounts of money were not paid. Or strike that. The landlord did not cash the checks. Mr. McMillan, since the landlord did not cash the checks, sir, you know the name of the bank, go to the bank, get a bank check for that amount, I'll see you this afternoon at 2.30. Have a nice lunch, gentlemen. You put that up, don't do it. Don't prop me. David, what I need is a number. That's all I need as to what he owes. That's all I need. Just give, just write down the order on the, the number on the back. Okay? Thank you so much. That, that's why I gave you to my court attorney. Mm -hmm. I want you to have your case heard on the merits. Okay. But if you don't pay the use and occupancy, your answer gets stricken. I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care what, what, what office you're running for. I wouldn't care if you were Andrew Cuomo himself. Oh, sure. I'm going to respect. He no, respect. I want him to, he's, he violated Judge Schrader's order. I don't care what he did. At this point, I don't care. My court attorney, he made a motion. My court attorney is giving me the number that I need in order to figure out whether or not you are doing what you're supposed to do. Well, where did they get those numbers from? I don't have a big they, they wouldn't give me a lease. Where did those numbers come from? After they defied the court's order, Judge Schreiter order, there is no lease. There is no agreement. So where did they get the numbers from? That's what my concern is, Your Honor. I'm fighting for the people because of this. You're fighting for, you're not fighting for the people. You're fighting for your own case. So they can move it. You so you don't get evicted from your apartment. Yes. Forget the people. Why don't you think about yourself? I am, apartment? because they defied the court's order. Judge Schrader wrote an order here, Your Honor. Have you seen this? They defied it. They returned the rent money back. Yes. And when they did that, the contract was terminated. That is your interpretation. Okay. And you can take it all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. 
That's great. And you can do it while you're no longer in this apartment. Okay. Okay? What's your point? We're here for primary residence. What's your point? The point is you don't get to do primary residence if you want money. Are we clear? I don't owe any money. Sir? 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 You want to have paid my rent. Sir? What they didn't do with it is not my responsibility. Sir? I was ordered by Judge Schreiter to pay my rent and I paid it. Sir? I hear what you're saying and I'm sorry. $19,232.70. That is not correct. Where did that come from? Again, if my you want to go, is paid. excuse me. Again, if you want to go and talk to my court attorney to explain why that number is not correct because you haven't been credited for the payments, you go ahead and you do that. I understand what he's saying. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Every time I'm in the picture. No. I need the number. If one or the other, it depends on whether May was paid or not. I we, we have May's check. Okay. We haven't deposited, but we have a check for May that came in. I need a so number. The, number. the number through April is the number. You should have been able to complete the court by violating Judge Schreiber's order. Okay, so, so what's, what's the invoice through April, assuming that the number is paid? 18, 359, I would say that it's fair to say that that's it. You should have been held in contempt of court. Okay, Judge but that hasn't happened, now has it? Because he made a motion, and you no longer have an attorney. But he's allowed to walk away. Why can't I? He, he probably didn't know what I have. So why am I? Why are we here? Mr. McMillan? Talk is cheap, man. I guess you're right. You ordered me to pay my rent again, Your Honor. That's what we're doing here today. $18,359.74, sir. You ordered me to pay that again. $18,359.74, sir. $18,359.74. And if I don't, we'll be stricken in court, correct? That's correct, because I have no other choice. You're Your not Honor, giving me a choice. I don't owe $18,000. We're going to appeal it, and we have to be stricken in court. I will not allow him to walk away and do, the, do what he do to me and do to the people. He defied the first judge's order by not by sending my rent money back. I do not keep a calculation on how much money when I send it to them or how much is there. I sent them to take the money that was there when they, they got it. Because they did not deposit the church, Checked according to Judge Schreiber's order, that is not my responsibility. Write an order and I will deal with it from here. There was no reason to go any further, let him walk away with sending rent money back. The landlord violated New York State law, violated the respectful order of the court, violated Judge Schreiber's order, and I cannot. Then, because I am so desperate to make sure that you are heard on the merits of your primary residence case, I will not order you to pay the money to him. Yes. I won't. As long as you give me $18,359.74, that can be deposited into the city's coffers so that nobody gets it. The landlord doesn't get it. You don't get it. The city holds on to it. And the city, mm -hmm. you believe in the city because you're running for mayor. Yes. So since you believe in the city, you can let the city hold on to it. How's that? Okay. okay, now that's a hardship for me because I don't know what is in the account. I don't know the full amount. Of Excuse me, $18,359.74. I don't owe that, Your Honor. Okay. I don't owe that. I gave them the rent money, they sent it back, and from there, he violated the court order. And I just okay, I just went on and did my campaigning. I wasn't keeping it track what I had in an account and what I didn't. No, I am begging I'm you. I am begging you. I don't want to write this order. I do not want to write this order. Yo! There is no lease. Yo! How much is my rent? What you doing with that? Outside. Get out. I think you're taking a picture and you ain't going to be taking a picture in here. You run it without a lease, where did they get those numbers? They violated the court order, terminated the, the contract, when they violated what is, what is my rent? I'm a senior citizen. Do I get squired, scribbled around, 66 years of age? My rent was eight, seven, eight, seven, nine, six when they started. I am begging you. What is the rent? I am begging you. I, I am begging you. I would get on my hands and knees to beg you, but unfortunately, 
My knees are bad. What is my rent, Your Honor? How much is my rent? Your rent? There is no amount for your rent because your lease, in fact, has expired. So I, I don't owe you rent. Thank you. But that doesn't mean you don't own, owe money for your being there, and that we call use and occupancy. That's because they found it in the judge's order. order. For our purposes, we set it at the amount under the last amount that you paid, and that would be $179. It could be more. It could be less. But that's what we said it at. Mr. McMillan, Mr. McMillan, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I am. I, but, Your Honor, you just said it. I'll get on my knees. Okay, even though my knees are bad. I'm you just said there is no lease. There is nothing on them. I know. I'll get on my knees. My knees are bad, but I'm going there. I'm going there. Hold on. I'm going. All right, here I am. I'm down here. I'm down here on my knees. But, Your Honor, if, you. if there is no lease, how do I owe there is no numbers on the lease? They didn't give me a lease. They refused to give me a lease and refused to accept my rent money. And you're telling me to pay them anyway? They they took the court. Yes, yes, I am. They defied the court. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Can I get something in between on the court's order, please, Your Honor? I am this. I am. I'm letting New York Times. They want it. They're going to have it because this is wrong. This okay. is wrong. They should be punished. They should be held in contempt. And nothing. This case should have been closed. Two months, they, two years, they ignored me at 107 St. Mark Place, didn't send me a bill, they vacated the premise. It's almost like I wasn't there at all. And this is wrong. And I will fight, I will fight this case for the people and myself, all the way to as far as they can go. They're wrong. I cannot you fight. cannot, on the one hand, say they're wrong, and on the other, when I'm trying to do the right thing here, I'm trying to do the right thing, and you're not letting me do the right thing, for your own reasons, I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. And you're going to drag me down here and you're going to say Judge Law was the meanest, meanest snake on the planet. Well, you know what, sir? After I've been begging you and begging you, you're going to tell me that I, that... There was no lease, Your Honor. Mr. McMillan, again, mm -hmm. I'm begging you. Make it payable to the city of New York. i got to bring my lawyer in on this. Your lawyer withdrew as your attorney. You don't got. You don't have I, a lawyer. I will get another one. It could be adjourned. What I like to have it in writing, uh, because he was in contempt of court and he was given a chance to walk away with the contempt of court, and I'm being forced to pay because of their contempt of court. I know what's in the judiciary committed to appoint judges. I knew all about this going on, but the question is that this is unfair in New York State, and I will not allow it to happen to you me. You got a bunch of things mixed up in if, what you were saying. If the order come to evict me, are you saying that I'm taking his part because I'm afraid that I might lose my job? Hold him in contempt of court. Excuse me, I'm, sir. Are you saying that? No, no, I'm are not you saying, saying that. No, I'm not saying that. Are you saying that? I'm going to rule for the landlord. No, no, I'm saying you just, you just said I have That's no. That's what you're saying. No, you just said I have no lease, and my lease is I'm zero. Here? But you just said my lease. I don't have a lease. My lease is zero. So why are you telling me that? I don't care. No, you don't care. But that right. we, we both speak, Ron. You said something we spoke to. You said I don't have a lease. I don't owe it. My lease is zero. Then why are you charging me rent of my lease? Because they didn't give me a lease. I don't owe anything. You, sir. Because this is the year that we're talking about. We're talking about 2012. There was no lease. They refused to give me a lease. Okay. Okay, that's not what you said. But then you're not hearing what I'm saying. Well, we, 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 we both misspoke. We both misspoke, Your Honor. I don't owe them eighteen. I don't owe them any. I don't owe them eighteen thousand dollars, Your Honor. Because there's no lease. There's no lease. They refuse to give me a lease. Okay. What are the numbers? That's all I asked, Your Honor. What? Show me a lease. Seventy-nine dollars a month by our order, sir. Because they violated Judge Schreiber's order. They didn't they give me the money back. Mr. McMillan. And are you are you ordering me to pay again, Your Honor? Mr. McMillan. Mr. McMillan. I understand, Your Honor. I understand. Uh, could I have that in writing? Could I have a court order on that? Uh, you, could you write your order so I can have that in writing, please? I need that in writing. I uh, please, Your Honor. I need that in writing. You will get it in writing. Yes. You're not going to get it today. Yes, sir. Because I have to type it out and make it all pretty for you. Yes. Well, I shouldn't be stricken in court. Because, I don't want you to be stricken. Because they defied the court's order too, Your Honor. If both of us should be stricken, if anything, it's already written. No, I want you to make out an envelope. Make it pay up, make it, re write out the envelope to you, to your name, at whatever address you want to use where you know that you receive mail. I always have people write out their own envelopes so that I will not be accused of 
mis mismailing yeah. a piece of paper that is vital to somebody. So you make it out to any address that you want to make it out to. Why can't we let the court decide? Because he violated the court's order too. Guess what? The court is deciding. I am the court. Yeah. In case you forgot. Thank you, Mr. McMillan. Thank you, Mr. Shulman. Goodbye. Thank you. When you get my order in the envelope that you addressed to yourself, read it. If you do not understand it, come back here to the courts to get an understanding of it. Don't let me stop you from getting another attorney. Thank you.